In this week's episode of Working with Evernote, I'm going to talk to you about default notebooks. Hello and welcome to another episode of Working with Evernote. My name is Carl Pauline and in this week's episode I want to talk to you about default notebooks and in particular how to set up your default notebook. And the reason I'm doing this is because there have been so many comments recently on my YouTube channel from all sorts of users, Android users, iOS users, Mac users and Windows users asking me how to set up the default notebook in their Evernote. And I think the reason for this is it has moved around a bit over the years and so what I thought I would do in this episode is I would show you how to set up your default notebook. And of course we can't go on to this episode without talking about the new branding of Evernote which I personally think is fantastic. I love the green elephant and for a moment Mads is the name of the elephant, Mads. I just love the green elephant. I think that's the right move for Evernote and it does look a little bit fresher and a little bit newer. And to be honest after 10 years of Evernote Evernote just looks better and stronger than ever and I'm really excited about the future. Anyway, enough about the branding. Let's start talking about notebooks and default notebooks in particular. So let's get into Evernote but before I do that I would just like to say if you like this episode please click on that like button below and if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet please subscribe. Okay, let's get into Evernote and we'll start looking at the default notebook. Okay, so let's, what we're looking at here is how to set up your default notebook. Now, there's a couple of ways of doing this. The easiest way is to use the three dots, the, the ellipses at the side here. Now, my inbox is already set as default notebook, as you can see here the default notebook is already set and that's how I have my notebook set up. But let's just say that I wanted to create say my favorite tweets. Uh, oh no, let's go to checklist here. I wanted that to be my default notebook. What you'll see is if you click on the ellipses here, the, the three dots or ellipses, you can click on this here and say set as default notebook. So it's really quite simple from just going into your notebook view. Now this I know is on a Mac but Windows is slightly different. <clears throat> However, that's not a big problem because I've put a link in the show notes below in the link section where you can go to the Evernote help page that will tell you exactly how to set your default notebook in any device that you are using. Now, I did say there was two ways of doing this. The second way of doing this is to go into Evernote's preferences up at the top here. And this is the way you would do it on Windows, by the way. Go into general. And you'll see here, by default, place new notes into the following notebook. Now, this is the way you would do it on Windows because I know I checked. Um, but all you need to do then is, at the moment, mine set as inbox. But if I click on the down arrow key here, I have all my notebooks here. So you can actually click on any one of these that you want and you can actually just create your own default notebook. I'm going to stick with inbox because that's mine set up. And essentially that's all you have to do to set up your new notebook, your default notebook. Now while I'm in here, what I would like to say is I did mention in the introduction about Evernote's uh, new branding. Evernote also launched a new section here which you'll see at the bottom underneath notebooks called shared with me. If you click on that, these are all the things that have actually been shared with your uh, colleagues or with other people. And everything is down here. And it will show you exactly who you shared with 
and when you shared it with them so this is all here and you can actually just go and check which notebooks you've you've actually shared so that's just something that I would like to point out I haven't gone into that in much detail and if there are some new and wonderful things you can do with shared with me I will do that in a future episode but for those of you who are just curious about with the recent update to Evernote if there was anything new well this is the section that came out that was new shared with me and it gives you all the notes notebooks and everything else that you might have that you've shared with other people or people have shared with you okay hopefully you found this useful it just remains for me now to wish you all a very very productive week thank you very much for watching this video i just like to tell you about my free beginner's guide to building your own productivity system now if you are new to productivity or even if you're an old hand to productivity systems this beginner's guide is designed especially for you. It's around about a one hour long online course that will give you all the tips and tricks that you need to build your very own productivity system so that you can start focusing in on the things that are important to you and start building a life that you can be very happy with. I just want to say thank you again so much for watching this video and I hope you join me in my free beginner's guide to building your own productivity system. Details on how to enroll in that course are in the show notes below or you can click up there or on the, on the, the video link there. It'll give you all the details that you need to get yourself into this course. Thanks again.